Hello, my friends. Today I'm going to be doing a Dutch pour, but first, several people have asked to see the dried results of the four paintings I did, same colors, different techniques. So here they are. Now, two of them I messed with and ended up embellishing, so they, they don't look a whole lot like the original uh, videos. They were like number 86, 7, and 8, I think, and the one on the far right you wouldn't even recognize that was number 69 and I compl I poured over it so it doesn't really count but um, here are the two that I did not change in any way I have not yet varnished I like the one on the left probably the best that was the swipe and I did get interesting effects on this second one as well I like that now the third one was the Dutch pour, and I didn't like it at all. So I, after I stopped filming, I blew further on the top, I added more color, blew it out, and ended up seeing shapes in there that remind me of dogs. And so I enhanced it with with dogs. <laughs> that one with a pointy nose right in the center there. That was there. I hardly had to do anything to it, and that's what gave me the idea to do the rest. So I just looked for shapes that looked vaguely like dog heads and added to it, and there you go. I call it Mount Dogmore, but somebody, a couple, suggested Mount Roughmore. So that's the name of that one. So it kind of came out fun. And then the last one was the flip cup and I really was unhappy with that so I poured over it I don't even know what I did and I didn't like what I did I tilted let it dry and then enhanced it with um, the top kind of looked like trees to me so I added a little tree line there and then waterfall looking area there was kind of a swipe and added some foliage and got a great response and it it sold so i'm happy with that and there you have it there's there's the four okay well let me turn this off and um, get set up for the dutch pour today see you in a minute okay ready to get started on this dutch pour now i have a commission to do a flamenco dancer. She would like me to replicate as close as I can uh, this one I did a while back. Um, it sold and I all I have is this little paper copy. So <laughs> I'm going to do my best. So I'm going to work this way. This will be like this. This will be the bottom of the skirt and up that way. Now I won't be showing the embellishment on video because I already did that. Um, if some of you are newer to my channel, you may not know that I, I did a four-part series on this dancer. It was number 41 to 44. I did the Dutch pour, was part one, part two was skin tone, three was the dress, and four was the hair and finishing details. So you may enjoy watching that. But today I'm just going to be doing the skirt on this one. And I think I used this color before, Turquoise Green by Grumbacher. And it looks like I had some dark tones in there as well. So I'm going to be using um, Payne's Gray. And then I wanted one more blue. So I took the Turquoise Green and I added some Pearl White to it. A pearl, classic Pearl, this metallic, give her a little shimmer. It wasn't quite light enough, so I added a little bit of this white to it to lighten it up. So it's not quite the same as this one. We shall see. I didn't take notes on that last one, so I'm winging it here. Now, both of these colors are opaque. So they're all opaque. So it doesn't really matter where I start, but I'm going to start with the, with the dark. And I think I'll do kind of a puddle here blow it out, and then maybe a line to blow out some of that. I almost went a little overboard 
with the blue there, I think, although I like the skin tones next to it, so I'm not sure. But that, that's what I'm going to start with, a puddle and a line. So here we go. This will be just about halfway up and I'll run a line. Oh, this is scary. This is a 16 by 20. I'll put the recipe down below, the, um, consist, the uh, ratios of my mix. It was just Floetrol and water. And I have some extra white. I mixed plenty this time. I often don't, and that's a problem. Whoa, probably have more than enough here. I'll just put it on this side. Okay, hair dryer is set on cool and high. I shouldn't have put so much Payne's Gray down. Um, this, that didn't work out so well. What if I come back this way, what'll happen? Let me try that. And this will work. I'm not unhappy with it. I'm going to blow it around a little bit more. do this is a little odd but I, I I wasn't happy with that shape there um, I would put her body here she's pretty upright incorporate part of this into her the um, bodice of her dress and then arms I think I'm okay with it I'm going to tilt just to bring that over to the edge. I like this. I like this. I'm 
I'm just really changing the shape of that center part there. I think it'll still work. I could that almost made the the dress right there. I'm gonna come back though. It, um, just a little bit. Okay. Well, I'm gonna stop there. Um, but I'll I'll let it dry and. Um, Kind of do a tracing of my figure, place it on there and see if I like it. If I don't, I'll have to do it again. <laughs> but I'm, I'm pleased with the colors. Just love this uh, turquoise green from Grumbacher. It's such a luscious color. Okay, folks. Well, that was fast. <laughs> and um, thanks for watching. And I'll show you the finished product in a few videos from now. But in the meanwhile... Um, would love to have you look at that uh, previous one I did in pink. Okay, folks, thank you for watching. Have a happy day.